Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Be afraid, be very afraid, young and restless slash bold and beautiful crossover teases an unstoppable team up. Over the years, the young and the restless Victor Newman has locked up an enemy and fed him rats, caged another tormentor and fed her Brussels sprouts, which may have been even worse turned loose a nemesis psychotic ex on him and replaced a rival with a lookalike drug lord. In turn, bold and beautiful baddie Shala Carter has stolen husbands and babies alike, tied up a loose end using murderous bees, shot almost everyone she's ever met and kidnapped the rest of her acquaintances. So needless to say, were they to team up, it was be Terrifying. But when Soaps.com ran into Kimberlyn Brown recently on the red carpet at the Emmys, that was exactly the notion that she floated. Asked what dream scenario she'd conjure up for herself, no matter how outlandish, she said without missing a beat that she'd hook up Shyla with the most powerful tycoon in all of Geno City. I think I'd be Victor Newman's love interest on The Young and the Restless. That's what I think I would do and that's where I'd go. Between the two of us, I think we'd be unstoppable. Despite the fact that Eric Braden has been front and center on Young and Restless since 1980 and Brown has bopped back and forth between the sister soaps since 1990, the actors have never crossed paths in a major storyline. Victor's been busy breaking up and making up with Nikki and thwarting Jack Abbott, and Shyla's gone from making Lauren Fenmore's life hell to becoming the bane of Steffi Forrester's existence. Together the pot stirrers would be, sheesh, the mind boggles to think about it. At least our mind boggles. Browns is delighted by the possibility of Shyla being added to Victor's long list of wives. Are you kidding me? She exclaims with a laugh. He has the wealth Shyla needs to exact revenge on anyone who's ever hurt her. Heaven knows that's a long list, considering that she's never forgiven Lauren for objecting to having her son kidnapped. She thinks Stefa's a real meanie for holding a grudge over the fact that the madwoman shot her mother and stepmother and grandmother, and so on, and she's still miff at Bill for sexing a murder confession out of her, and worse, with lame sex. In the vibrant, ever-twisting world of daytime television, a momentous event was brewing, promising to send shockwaves through the hallowed halls of soap opera fandom. For the first time ever, two iconic shows— the young and the restless and the bold and the beautiful were gearing up for a crossover event that would redefine the landscape of dramatic storytelling. The whispers of this epic convergence had been circulating for months, tantalizing fans with the potential for new alliances, heated rivalries, and uncharted territories of intrigue. The setting was a lavish estate nestled in the picturesque hills of Genoa City, the sprawling mansion, with its opulent architecture and manicured gardens, was the venue for a grand masquerade ball hosted by none other than Victor Newman, the patriarch of the Newman family. This was no ordinary social gathering. It was a calculated maneuver by Victor to forge alliances and test the waters with his business rivals. Air buzzed with anticipation and the sharp tang of power plays. As the night progressed, the elite of Genoa City mingled under the glittering chandeliers, their faces obscured by ornate masks. The air was thick with the scent of expensive perfume, the clink of crystal glasses, and the murmur of hushed conversations. It was in this heady atmosphere that the guests of honor made their entrance. From Los Angeles, the glamorous Forrester family had arrived. Eric Forrester, the magnanimous head of Forrester Creations, led the way with his poised and elegant demeanor. Flanked by his children, Ridge and Steffi Forrester, they commanded the room's attention. The Forresters were no strangers to the cutthroat world of high fashion and corporate espionage, making them perfect foils and potential allies for the Newman clan. Victor, ever the consummate host, greeted Eric with a firm handshake, their eyes locking in a silent exchange of mutual respect and wariness. Eric, welcome to Geno City. It's a pleasure to finally meet you in person. The pleasure is mine, Victor. Eric replied smoothly, his gaze flickering over the crowded ballroom. I've heard a lot about you and your illustrious family. Small talk ensued, but beneath the surface, both men were calculating, 
assessing each other's potential as allies or adversaries. Ridge and Steffi, meanwhile, mingled with the younger Newmans and Abbots, their presence adding an exciting new dynamic to the familiar Geno City landscape. The ball was in full swing when a hush fell over the crowd. Stepping onto the dais, Victor raised a glass. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight is not just a celebration of our shared successes, but a symbol of potential collaborations. In this room, we have the power to shape the future. His words hung in the air, heavy with implication. It was an invitation, a challenge, and a promise all rolled into one. As the guests toasted to the night's possibilities, a sense of foreboding mixed with exhilaration rippled through the crowd. Unbeknownst to the most, a shadowy figure lurked on the periphery of the gathering, watching the proceedings with keen interest. Sheila Carter, a name that sent chills down the spine of anyone familiar with her treacherous history, had resurfaced. Her presence at the ball was no accident. Shyla had always thrived in chaos, and the merging of these two worlds presented an irresistible opportunity for her to stir the pot. Meanwhile, at a secluded corner table, Nick Newman and Burke Logan shared a quiet conversation. Burke's ties to both the Forrester and Logan families made her a pivotal player in this unfolding drama. She had her own agenda, driven by a desire to protect her family and her legacy. Nick, Burke said, her voice low and urgent, we need to keep our eyes open. This event, it's the perfect breeding ground for secrets and schemes. Nick nodded, his expression grim. Agreed. And with Shyla in the mix, things are bound to get even more complicated. As the night wore on, alliances began to form. Abby Newman and Steffi Forrester found common ground in their mutual ambition and business acumen. They talked animatedly about potential fashion collaborations, their minds already racing with ideas. In another corner, Victoria Newman and Ridge Forrester discussed strategies for expanding their respective empires. There was a palpable chemistry between them, a blend of respect and attraction that neither could deny. But it wasn't all camaraderie and collaboration. Phyllis Summers, ever the schemer, observed the newcomers with a mixture of curiosity and suspicion. She saw potential threats to her own standing in Geno City and resolved to uncover any secrets the foresters might be hiding. As the clock neared midnight, the tension in the room reached its peak. Victor, ever the master of ceremonies, once again took center stage. Ladies and gentlemen, I have an announcement. The room fell silent, all eyes on Victor. Tonight marks the beginning of a new era. The Newmans and the Foresters, two families with unparalleled influence and ambition, are poised to embark on a partnership that will be unstoppable. Together, we will redefine the boundaries of power and success. The declaration was met with a mixture of applause and murmurs of surprise. It was a bold move, one that promised both great opportunity and great peril. As the guests began to disperse, the true magnitude of the night's events started to sink in. The fusion of these two powerful dynasties would send ripples through the worlds of business, fashion, and beyond. Friendships would be tested, loyalties questioned, and secrets exposed. Back at the Newman Ranch, Victor and Nikki sat by the fireplace, reflecting on the evening's developments. Do you think we can trust them? Nikki asked, her voice tinged with concern. Victor took a deep sip of his brandy, his eyes distant. Trust is a luxury we can't afford, Nikki. But one thing is certain, together we are unstoppable. In Los Angeles, Eric Forrester had similar thoughts. He stood on the balcony of his mansion, looking out over the city. We've entered a new phase, my dear, he said to Quinn, who joined him. This partnership with the Newmans, it's a game-changer. Quinn nodded, her eyes sparkling with excitement. It's a risk, but one worth taking. Together, we're unstoppable. And so the stage was set for a saga of epic proportions. As the worlds of the young and the restless and the bold and the beautiful collided, Fans braced themselves for a whirlwind of drama, passion, and intrigue. The future was uncertain, but one thing was clear. This crossover was destined to be an unforgettable chapter in the annals of soap opera history. Be afraid. Be very afraid.